What's up? I'm Elsa, and this is Baron, and we live full time in our 13 foot scamp trailer. Today we're going to talk about our WeBoost cell booster and how it boosts us from no signal to four bars LTE in the backcountry. With the click of a button. A click. The click. We have the WeBoost RV65 antenna and cell booster combo. The RV65 is an antenna which sits on top of a 25 foot telescoping pole. From the antenna, the signal goes into a booster and then it goes to a transmitter within the scan. The WeBoosts are plan independent. They work with all carriers. Our WeBoost just depends on which tower the antenna is pointed at. WeBoost offers a lot of different options for their cell boosters. Some for trucks, some for homes, some for RVs. And a lot of them come with omnidirectional antennas. This means that you don't have to point at a specific tower. You could be driving around and still get cell signal because it can bounce from tower to tower in a 360 degree radius. Whereas if you have the directional antenna like we do, you get a stronger signal when you're parked, but every time you park, you have to adjust the antenna to point to the strongest cell tower. Thus far, it has been freaking awesome. It only takes about nine watts of power and we have service from the middle of dead zones. Anywhere that we've used it, we've had yeah. instant service. So we haven't found an area yet that, that hasn't worked. Right. We often get better service out in the mountains using the WeBoost than we do in town because town generally has a lot of tourists, especially on the weekends. So there's a lot of competition for the bandwidth. So when we're out in the middle of nowhere connected to a tower that a lot of people aren't connecting to, then we get excellent service. Once you hook the three different parts together and power it up and flip the system on, it just works. There's very little setup and it's super simple to use. Another nice thing about the RV65 setup is all the cables and housing and all that stuff is provided with the setup. Did it come with everything that we needed for yeah. it? The only thing that we did have to order separately was the 12 volt power adapter mm. because it normally runs off AC, but it's more efficient for us to run it off of DC power. Having the RV65 allows me to do web development work, upload Nomad notes, and even podcasts, which is pretty liberating. I can't upload YouTube videos? Well, I can. You could if we had an unlimited data plan. But we don't. And we may get one this winter, just depending. I think it would be a nice thing to have, especially when we're snowed in as we're winter camping in the scamp. More info on that to come very soon. Another nice thing about the WeBoost is that it allows us to camp farther out and still be able to get in contact with people and do our thing. Yeah, that's really true because we have been able to camp in some really epic spots that otherwise would have restricted us from service, which allows us to stay here and not go into town as often. Right. For more information on how antennas work and how the WeBoost actually works on like a scientific level, we included some links in the description below. WeBoost very graciously sent us this entire system so that we could talk about it and use it for our channel, and it's been epic. If you found this interesting, click the link in the description to take you to WeBoost's website so that WeBoost knows that we sent you. And if you're on the site and you buy one, we do receive a small amount of commission, and that helps us out a lot. I hope you liked this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.